Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Argo and Vel. This is a drifter weapon that you can unlock in Tishin's Cave with Pathos Clamps, but you can also get a blueprint that's buildable in your foundry which unlocks the weapon for Warframes. Today we're going to be focusing on the Warframe version of the Argo and Vel. So the Argo and Vel is a melee weapon that does not have a mastery rank requirement and it's classified as a sword and shield. It does mostly slash damage with a bit of impact on the side with very good 32% crit chance and above average 2.4 times crit multiple and a very solid 24% status chance and it has average range of 2.5 with the only downside of the weapon being a relatively slow attack speed of 0.8. The Argo and Vel also comes with a unique mechanic on its heavy attack. Whenever you do a heavy attack you throw out an energy projectile that will bounce around. It's actually very similar to a glaive throw. This does pretty solid damage, it can crit and it can proc status so you can actually build for it if you want to. Now since you can get this weapon whenever basically let's check out the basic build first which is going to be more developed than on most other weapons as the weapon comes pre-packaged with two V's and a D. So you can easily squeeze in pressure point for some damage, fury for attack speed, unranked fever strike and north wind for a bit of vital and then true steel for crit chance with either organ chatter for crit damage or reach for extra range. This will give you more than enough damage to absolutely blast through the star chart as you get very reliable crit with solid damage. It's also quite a bit of fun because you have that unique heavy attack so you get a bit of extra range for stuff like ospreys. Eventually though you want to progress towards a more spicy build that's gonna look more like this instead. It's a pretty standard vital slash hybrid so we have prime pressure point or condi overload for damage, vital and scourge and vicious frost that are deranked so we don't get too much vital damage, berserker fury for attack speed then either primed reach for range which is really good for sword and shield because their attacks are very flaily so extra range helps you connect with attacks more reliably or if you're not running arcane strike you could double down on attack speed here instead. And we top it off with organ chatter for crit damage as well as weeping wounds and blood rush so we scale our crit and status as we build our combo counter. This catapults the weapon straight into steel path as the damage it can do with a setup like this is absolutely disgusting. You're gonna be bonking enemies left right and center leaving behind pretty juicy slash procs as you do so. This weapon is just really strong especially for something that you can pick up at any point in the game basically you know 300 base damage with awesome crit and more than good enough status it's just really good. Plus it's pretty easy to get like the only thing stopping you from getting this is the auto worm boss fight which isn't all that difficult outside of that the build requirements in the foundry are pretty tame it's just a handful of various Duviri resources. Yes the attack speed is below average but honestly sword and shield weapons have pretty fast animation so it doesn't feel that bad even with just berserker fury and at the end of the day if it really bothers you you can run arcane strike on your frame or you can just double down on attack speed on the weapon itself. So yeah definitely pick this up and as always guys I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.